I was trained for two years at the University of Rio Grande in Ohio, um, where I started out making shaker tables and ended up making Queen Anne 18th century desks and uh, dressing tables. And, and that is really where, where, where the skills really all started. Um, I've been in this business for about almost 15 years. In the first two years, I, I just swept in a shop. But once I went to school, that's when it really started to pick up and you know, my skill set changed and I really thought, hey, I could, you know, I could do this. I could, I could really make a career out of this. One of my biggest clients came from Tamarack and some of my best training has come from the Tamarack Foundation as far as uh, providing a better presentation overall to my customers. Usually it starts with someone giving me a picture or they give me an idea and I go to the drafting table and make it happen. Um, this was an example. This lady wanted a custom cherry vanity with a period feel. So we added the curved feet, um, hardware that was typical for that era, and then made it all out of solid cherry and curly cherry. One of my favorite things is color. If I get a chance for any free time uh, in my business, my wood shop, one of my favorite things to do is add color to something. Uh, we all need color in our life. It just makes everything better. I think anybody that, that makes something and they're proud of it want, wants someone to appreciate it as much or more as they do. And, and that's really one of the most rewarding things of, of my job, my career, is that I meet so many interesting people. People are so important to me. I love to hear about my customers, who their families are, how many kids they have. I love to check in with them several times a year and just see how they're doing. Not necessarily to sell someone a piece of furniture, but the people are the most important thing, uh, more so than that sale of that furniture. Um, but it, it is, it's very rewarding when you find a customer that really appreciates what you do. Um, and I've been very fortunate uh, in that area. You can, you can lead a fulfilling life. Um, you can get paid for the things that you're doing. I was saying, you know, broaden your horizons, reach out. Um, you know, don't don't wait for it to come to you. You've got to go find it sometimes. And so, if not a starving artist, you're just a you're a contributor, and and you can have an amazing family, an amazing job. You can be happy, and you can have everything in life that you want, that you dream of. You just have to work. You know, one of the most important things, and my, my probably my biggest goal, is that I can build this business, uh, something that my son or my daughter can work in, can take care of. That it becomes a family business. Um, I want nothing more than that. To give people what they want, put smiles on people's faces, and uh, grow something that becomes bigger than the furniture.